Okay, so what we're going to do for this effect is I've got the footage. If you go in the bonus footage folder, you can find this footage and follow along. I'm going to set an in point here and an out point. Drag the footage in. Hold down option and you can delete the audio, which locks the video there. And we're ready to go. Now all we need to do is add some text here. Come down to your regular text. Go to controls. And we're going to type in Final Cut King. I'm going to raise up the size a little bit to 50, 60, and I've got my font. And I'm just going to drag this above the video. And what we're going to do is lower the position of the text. If you double click, go to your controls, hit the origin, and we're going to lower this so it's a little bit lower right here. And then we're going to begin keyframing. And so what we need to do is add a filter to this text. And go to Effects, Video Filters, Matte, and go to a mask shape. Okay, so the mask shape here is going to be under the filters, and we're going to open up the horizontal scale so we can see the entire thing like this, and then we're going to invert so we cannot see it. But notice where this line is where the ball is. We want to match this up before, right about here is where it's going to be inverted. So hit Shift Z here, and we opened it up. And what we're going to do is just start keyframing here. So let me show you this. If I move the center around, you're going to see the video begins to pop out here. So what we're going to do is keyframe it one frame back and as the ball rolls over then we're going to keyframe this letter so it looks like this and then we're going to keep going and you're seeing the keyframes are adding up here in the viewer timeline and we're going frame by frame. There's two ways to do this. One is frame by frame but since this ball is a very constant speed we could do the beginning frame and the end frame but I'm just going to show you how to do it this way. And I will say about this method, it is frustrating in Final Cut Pro. If you have motion, I would highly recommend that you do this effect in motion because while you still have to keyframe it, working in motion, the interface is a lot easier for this type of effect. Because I would also like to add a feather, but the feather isn't going to work that well in this Final Cut. Now here we're going to open up this window to 25%. This is where it also gets annoying because it gets harder to see everything. And then Final Cut forces you to do that. But anyway, we're going to keep going. Frame by frame. And we're done. Put this back to normal. Shift Z will fit to window. I'm going to render this out and we can play it. Apple R. Okay, so if we play the effect, Final Cut King rolls on the screen just like that. And there's the invisible text effect in Final Cut Pro. Play along with this tutorial with the footage, invisible text, and you will learn a little bit more about keyframing and the mask.